There are few words strong enough to describe how haunting and deeply affecting this Holocaust movie is. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas is powerful and we'd argue important viewing, but it's nothing a child under 13 should see. Parents and older teens will have their own struggles. Bruno is the eight-year-old son of a high-ranking Nazi officer moved from Berlin to his new war assignment in the country. Bruno has no idea that his dad is running a concentration camp, even after he decides to explore what appears to be a farm behind his house. Hello. I'm exploring. What are you doing? We're, we're building a new hut. Have you got lots of friends over there? A few, but we fight a lot. It's not fair. You being stuck over here on my own, or you're over there, playing with friends all day. Playing? Well, that number. Isn't it part of a game or something? It's just my number. Everyone gets given a different number. Oh, right. Then what happens? I have to go back now. Really? <laughs> that marks the beginning of an unlikely friendship and Bruno's slow realization about his father's true role in the war. Young and old alike will fight tears as the Jews in this movie are denigrated and dehumanized, belittled, berated, and beaten. The mechanisms of mass extermination are visible and one chilling scene shows them put to use. There's no sex, not much swearing, but there's plenty of period accurate smoking and drinking. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas is never maudlin or overly dramatic. It doesn't need to be. The director has walked a fine line and done so successfully. If your children are at least 13 years old, this is difficult but excellent viewing. We'd recommend following it with a bit of history and perhaps a conversation on how dangerous extremism and racism can be even today. For more movie, television, and video game reviews, visit us at commonsense.com. I'm Kim Yonanaka.